At a mass meeting near Heathrow, Unite General Secretary Len McCluskey told Unite BA cabin crew members that the Union and British Airways had reached what he believes is an honourable settlement to resolve the dispute that has been running for two years. Before the members were presented with the main points of the agreement, Len McCluskey paid tribute to the resilience of the Union representatives and Unite's BA cabin crew members who were fighting to be treated fairly and with respect. Was when things are difficult, when life changes, that your representatives are allowed to be treated in a way that they should be. Listened to, debated, discussed, negotiated. After hearing the main points of the agreement, which included restoration of travel concessions taken away from those crew who went on strike, the members voted overwhelmingly for the agreement to be put to a ballot of the full membership. The eagerly awaiting media were then briefed and Len McCluskey also gave credit to new British Airways Chief Executive Keith Williams. A great deal of credit needs to go to the new CEO Keith Williams. He uh, set about to indicate that he wanted an honourable settlement. I met him privately on a number of occasions to try to determine whether or not uh, he and the company were serious about that. We've consistently said throughout this dispute that the dispute could only be resolved through negotiation, not through confrontation, not through litigation, not through intimidation, and that we wanted a, an honourable settlement. And I was convinced that uh, Keith Williams also wanted the same, and that's what effectively gave us an opportunity to sit down and to work through the issues that have kept us apart for so long. A copy of the agreement briefing notes can be found on the BA Cabin Crew campaign page at unitetheunion.org slash campaigns.